Report, sailor. Well, we've caught something in the net, Captain. <laughs> Finally. We might not have to starve to death in this blasted mist after all. All right, let's see what we've caught. Reel it in, Joe! Well, what kind is it? Is it a big one? Can we eat it? It's... It's an airplane. Ah, release the net! I thought we were saved. Scrap salvage is the last thing we need right now. But, sir, what if there's food in there? Rations of some sort? Or cake! Maybe it's full of cake! <laughs> Uh, go ahead. Reel it in and get your cake. I don't care. Ouch! I told you it was a bad idea to have a farm of cacti in an airplane! <laughs> don't this my cacti, man. It's not their fault that you landed on them. Well, maybe if you hadn't crashed the airplane, I might have considered not sitting on one. Oh, <sighs> Yeah, great landing, Buona. I'm glad you're still alive, so I still have the chance to strangle you! Master Pilot, huh? Uh, enter? Hello! Funny food. So, let me get this straight. We're simply stuck out here in the mist? I'm afraid so, miss. This ship isn't going anywhere. Without a lighthouse to guide us, we have no idea where to steer. We're just gonna have to wait it out. If you're lucky, it won't be more than a couple of weeks. I can't believe this. Is there really nothing we can do? Well, if we knew our bearings, I guess that'd be a good start. But we don't. We've always relied on the lighthouse for navigation. Buona, you're a pilot. You have any ideas? What you need, lady? Our bearings. We need to find out in which direction the ship is heading. Ah, no worries, Lena. You can always count on Buona Charters. Great. I'll take this opportunity to catch up on some more reading. Hmm. How the heck am I gonna figure out what direction the ship's going? Joe, what you looking for? I'm trying to catch a glimpse of Port R2, or another vessel, or anything that might help us get back to port. But all I see is darkness. And that there boom, of course. <sighs> We're gonna stay moored to it until the fog leaves, so we don't just keep drifting away. Could be today, could be in a week. Can I help? Well, your lady friend was onto something there. If we somehow can figure out our bearings, we might just have a chance of getting out of this suit on our own. What is this place? You're on board the MS Beacon, an eel trawler lost somewhere in the thick soup and mist far from its port. So this boat catches eels? Sure. It's the only thing we misters can do. Hunt for real. Ain't nothing else out in the mist as far as I know. Only darkness. Cold, wet darkness. Problem now is we can't catch Jack in this thick mist. No eels get stuck in a static net. And we don't dare move in case we drift further away. What is the mist anyways? I have no idea. It's just... It's just there. Is there no water down there? I can't hear any waves. Nobody knows what's down there. We're not supposed to ask. If you start asking those kind of questions in the port, you'll get busted in no time. We don't talk about it. The boats just kind of float. That's all we need to know to catch our eels. So, what happened to the lighthouse? <laughs> Beats me. It worked fine when we left port. And about a week ago, when I woke up from my shift one morning, I couldn't see. And we've just been aimlessly drifting since. Catch you later, Joe. Keep wanna stay afloat. How you feeling, lady?
Oh, I'm doing my best to distract the seasickness with this book of yours. And it's actually working. Your father, Kalman Dodo, was onto something big with this. This book really is an amazing find, and I'm sure we'll be able to reach the Underland with this. I just know it. We need to figure out its meaning before it's too late. Too late for what? Listen, Buona. The thugs who broke into the university and chased us from the charter are dead serious in covering their tracks. We must get into port and find some answers before they silence every last lead to their dirty operation. Reaching the Underland? Shh, Buona, stop talking so loud about it. Yes, of course we're trying to reach the Underland. That's why we need this book. Something real crooked is going on down there, and I'm hell-bent on finding out what it is. Kito, brother, how you doing, man? I'm okay, Buona. Just a little seasick. <laughs> I think I'm gonna lie here for a while. Of course, man. I've got this covered. Hey, can I borrow that screwdriver? <laughs> sure, man. Knock yourself out. Thanks, buddy. No problem, Obwana. Go drive them screws. Perfect. This is probably exactly what Joe needs. Hey, Buana, I thought tinkering with the airplane was my job. No, no. Your job is fixing the airplane after I break it. <laughs> I guess we won't need our makeshift safety belts anymore, but the duct tape might still come in handy. Hey, Kito. Hey there, Buana. <laughs> Looks like we got ourselves into quite a pickle here. Yeah, man. This boat is going nowhere. How did we wind up in this mess anyways? <laughs> Buana, you already forget, eh? Well, long story short, we were up to our knees in debt back home in Kingsport Bay. And then, that lady Lena shows up looking for a book. It turns out we had the book she was looking for. Some old book that belonged to Kono Dodo. Then all of a sudden, she needs to get out of there in a hurry and starts waving money around and... And that's when I convinced you to fix the plane so we could chatter it to her. Right, now I remember. Yeah, and then we got it going and we were chased by those crazy guys with the Tommy guns. We flew over the edge, ran out of gas, and then fell into the mist. And wound up here, in the net of some kind of weird floating eel trawler. Exactly, Mon. How did she know our father had the book she was looking for? I don't know, Buana. I guess Kono Dodo must have been mixed up in the same stuff as she is. One way or another, too bad he isn't around to explain these things. I sure miss him. Me too, man. Later, Kito. We're heading north, northeast. Check it out. Great. Guess in our bearing without the lighthouse to guide us is absolutely impossible. This should definitely help us get to the port. Now, all we need is a map so we can figure out our location. So we still have no idea where we are? I'm afraid so, pal. And with a captain going full barrel on the eel rinks, I'm afraid we can forget asking him for help. Ah, if only we had a map or something. No worries, man. I'll think of something. Hmm. What's this? Don't! <laughs> Those wires are dangerous. Hey, <laughs> first class engineering. Light. Beautiful light. 
keep and slash the wires, so we have to conserve energy. He's taking it too far. Oh, this darkness is horrible. Just thinking about all those scary things out in the mist is driving me mad. What scary things? Pirates! Bloodthirsty pirates! Not to mention the eels. Small ones are friendly enough, but the big ones... Oh, the big ones. I don't want to think about it. I wish we were back in Port Archu. There are pirates out there? You're kidding me. You never heard of the Sisulus? Nastiest pirates there are. They're a curse to these mists and to all of us who work it. They hack and slash their way through any vessel they encounter, no matter the flag. Oh, it's a bloody mess when they're done. Stay clear of the Sisulus if you want to keep your body parts. That's all I'm saying, mate. They're a bloodthirsty lot. Eaten by eels? Really? Really? You never heard about the Hungries? I've heard tales of them swallowing entire ships, twice the size of this one. You mean a giant eel could pop up and eat us at any minute now? Well, as long as there's a charge left in our batteries, we should be okay. Legend has it they never come close when you got your lights on. It's what happens when we run out of fuel and everything goes dark that scares me. Tell me about Port Archu. It's the only town down here under St. Armando. As far as I know, at least. It's the home port of most ships work in the mist. Sometimes the fog lifts, but most of the time it's just completely enveloped in a thick, soupy fog. It's no happy place, but it's certainly better than being stuck out here. There's warmth there. <gasps> and food! Wonderful food! Oh, crocky, mate. Oh, it's cracking stuff. See you around. Look, a loose spring. I better take it before it pokes someone's eye out. Let's get this window off. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh boy, sometimes I'm so smart, I surprise myself. Hey, it's a navigation book. Hey, look what I borrowed from the captain's bridge. Hey, that's just what we need. Where we're gonna throw the rubble at? <laughs> I could've never guessed. <laughs> that means we're ready to fire up the engines and get out of here. I never thought I'd say this, but it's gonna be good getting back into port.
Well, well, well. Look what we have here. The name's Barlow. Police Chief Barlow. You're under arrest. All of you. Arrest? On what charges? Don't try and fool me, Angel. The Journal of the Journey Down doesn't belong to you. Hey, give that back to her! <laughs> I don't think so. You boys are gonna spend some time in the can. And you and me, Angel. We're gonna have a little chit-chat. 